Hi, I'm David Davis from Actual Tech Media. We're here at the headquarters of Citus Data, and I'm excited to be joined by the founder and CTO, Mr. Uzgun Erdogan. Thank you for being with me. Well, thanks for uh, having us, uh, and I'm excited as well. Yeah, thank you for being on. So I've been talking to you a little bit about um, the Citus Data solution, and I know our audience is going to be excited to learn more about what it is because I'm betting, like me, they yep. they may have never heard of what you all are doing here, and it's it's really obviously very innovative and unique. So let's start off with the first high level question: What is Citus Data? What problem do you solve? Yeah, uh, happy to answer that. Citus Data has uh, different products. Our flagship product. Citus uh, is a distributed database. It transforms PostgreSQL into a distributed database. And for that, we do sharding, replication, query, parallelization behind the covers. What you don't worry about that, our goal in life is to make sure that you don't worry about your database. Uh, you talk to a database, and then we take care of the scaling part of it. Okay, and that's, is that true that it's always been a challenge with with Postgres, Postgres doesn't scale out, it, it just scales up? Yes, uh, that's right. PostgreSQL is uh, one of the world's most popular uh, relational databases. Uh, it does scale up uh, today, but it doesn't scale out. So if you have an application that requires a lot of performance, and then, or if you have lots of data, you put it into PostgreSQL, you can scale up, up, up. At, certain, at a certain point, you run into the scaling challenges, uh, which means uh, you see slower performance, and we enable, we solve that problem for you, we enable you to scale out uh, so that you don't have any performance problems. Very nice, so you have this magical extension to Post, yes. Postgres, huh, that allows it to distribute, uh, to be a distributed database. Yes, exactly. Very cool. So is this a, is this a software as a service, or does it run on premises, or, or both? It's actually both. Uh, our customers and our users use Consume Citus in different ways. Uh, one is obviously it's available as open source software. Uh, you can go to GitHub, you can go to our website, download it, play around with it, do whatever you want to do with it. In addition to it, for our enterprise customers uh, who need uh, a bit more in terms of security, in terms of uh, additional features, online rebalancing, uh, we have an enterprise edition, uh, which you get from Citus Data as well. Uh, and now uh, you can set that up on-prem on in your own private cloud or you can actually use that in public clouds as well and uh, additionally we have a managed database service offering today that's available on AWS uh, you can just go and click deploy a Citus cluster and we take care of everything for you including HA disaster recovery point in time recovery in addition to scaling out very nice yep. so I'm curious with so many different database solutions out there mm -hmm. like how did you come up with the idea for Citus data where did this get started yep uh, the idea for it came uh, from our days uh, at Amazon. I was previously at Amazon and then uh Basically, Sumit was uh, at Amazon too, and I was in the distributed systems engineering team, which more or less morphed into uh, the cloud team uh, today. And there, one of the challenges uh, that we had at that scale was uh, Amazon employed a service-oriented architecture. Uh, these days, it's called microservices. So you, ha you have a website, it's very popular, someone hits that website, and then the website, it's multiple, maybe over 100 services okay. uh, to render the contents. And uh, and that was the case. And obviously, when you have when you uh, distribute the systems, scaling computation is easy. You can add more web servers, or in the services, you can add more service machines. But scaling data is hard, and uh, for because. Uh, because of the fundamental uh, challenges associated with it. And there we were building these services that used NoSQL-like data stores okay. uh, to scale, you know, fundamentally to scale. But as we wrote those services, maybe five or six of them, uh, we came to realize one thing, where at the application layer, we were writing a lot of application level code, uh, primarily because the underlying database did not provide us, say, transactions mm -hmm. or joins or database constraints. So maybe 75% of the application level code we were writing was already available in the form of SQL and was already available in the form of relational databases, uh, but uh, the data relational database didn't scale, didn't scale cost effectively. So that's when uh, we left to make the relational databases scale. And uh, we based it on PostgreSQL, uh, which, is, which we're really excited uh, about. Very cool. Yeah. Huh? It's an exciting story, coming from Amazon to form your own company here, yep. Citus Data. So I mean, if I'm an application developer or a database admin looking for a database solution, mm -hmm. like, what's the first step with Citus Data? How do people typically get started? 
depends. There isn't a single, it really depends on who you are. Uh, yeah. If you're looking to get started, play around with it, I'd recommend going to our website, clicking a button, registering yourself, and deploying a Citus formation. Okay. Uh, we have dev formations available for you to play around with, uh, and then we have bigger formations. You can just slide a slider and then pick the number of machines you want. Uh, so I'd recommend, that's an easy way to get started. It yeah. takes uh, 10 minutes, uh, not more, and then we're really doing all the heavy lifting for you. Now, if you're really curious about the nits and bits of it, uh, we have our uh, open source solution. Mm -hmm. Essentially, you can download, you can look around, you can build it in your own way. And obviously, if you're evaluating it in the context of a bigger project, uh, let's say if you're a Fortune 100, Fortune 500 company, then I'd say uh, get in touch with us and then we'd be happy to uh, schedule a call, chat with you, and then see how we can best uh, address your requirements. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time today. Yep. Thank you. For more information, visit situsdata.com.